Hi, this is Dr. Dave from Keystone Pharmacy. Lately, we've been getting a lot of questions about midazolam nasal spray. We used to dispense midazolam nasal spray in a bottle like this, and you would just push on the actuator and the nasal spray would come up. But there's a couple problems with this type of delivery system. First of all, the patient needs to be sitting upright. And for those of you that have loved ones who are seizing, who you need to administer this medication to, you know that's probably not going to happen in any kind of an easy way. Because there's a dip tube in this that goes to the bottom of the bottle, and if the bottle's tipped, the dip tube isn't going to be at the bottom to suck up the medication like it needs to. The second issue, even if you can get the patient sitting up, is this is a medication you have on hand that you hope you never have to use. So you'll get the bottle from the pharmacy and it will sit in your medicine cabinet. The problem is this opening, that you can't see it on camera, I'm sure, but the opening is very small. And if a little bit of medication gets in there, it can crystallize and block this if it's not used regularly. So the nasal spray bottle, although easy for application, isn't probably ideal for everyone. So what we've done is we've gotten rid of this and we've gone more towards a nasal atomizer type system. So this video is designed to show you how to use the nasal atomizer. You probably are getting a vial of midazolam that looks like this. Okay. For the each each bottle has 5 milligrams of midazolam and 1 milliliter of total volume. Now, I'm not going to draw midazolam up into a uh, syringe and squirt it in my nose because, um, first of all, it's a controlled substance, and second of all, it's waste. So I'm going to demonstrate with a bottle of saline exactly how you do this. So you have your nasal atomizer, twist off the cap, or twist off the atomizer part, set that aside. So you have a syringe, you have a needle, You're going to put the needle on the syringe, take the cap off, take your bottle of midazolam. Again, this isn't midazolam, this is simulation, so this is just water. Pull the cap off. Now, you're not injecting this, so there's no reason to swab the cap um, to make it sterile. Go ahead and pull all the contents out of the vial. Just for this demonstration, though, I'm only going to pull out a single milliliter because that's how much is in the in the uh, midazolam vial. Go ahead and take the needle off. Set that aside. Put on the nasal aspirator. Now to administer this to your loved one, you give about one half of the dose in each mil in each nostril, or as your doctor's. Um, uh, Prescribed. So if you push on that, I don't know if you can see this in the camera, but um, that was about a half of a mil. Here's the other half of a mil. You see it creates a nice fine mist. Now, this might seem a little bit overwhelming, and we're very happy to provide you with bottles of water, and so you can try it at home. But once you get a little bit of practice, let me just show you how quickly this would go, okay? Because I know when you have a seizing child, you need to get that medication on board as soon as possible. So take it off, put the needle on, drop your mill. Take the needle off, replace it with nasal aspirator. I'm sorry, the nasal atomizer. Half the mill goes into one side, half the mill on the other side. If you have any questions, please feel free to call the pharmacy at 616-974-9792. We're always happy to help. And until we meet again, may you have many days filled with love, peace, hope, and joy, and many unexpected blessings come your way.